This is a coloring book review for the Bicycle Coloring Book, Journey to the Edge of the World. This is a really nice coloring book, and I had not seen any on YouTube, so I decided uh, I should go ahead and do one. I've colored one picture in here so far. Um, not the best artist in the world, nor do I claim to be, so uh, excuse that. Pictures are done on one side of this book, which is a nice feature. I like that because you don't have anything on the other side to bother with you. Um, there's some really neat pictures in here. I really like this book. The paper is thicker than printer paper, not as thick as artist quality paper, um, but it is still pretty thick. This would be fine for watercolors. It would be fine for colored pencils, gel pens. Um, would not be okay for markers. Uh, that would not work. It would bleed right through. Um, this is a very thick book. You see, um, it is a very thick book. It's a little oddly shaped, and I wish that the pages were a bit bigger. Um, and I'll explain that later. Um, it is a huge book. Um, well worth the money for this book. Um, some of the reasons I feel like the pages should be a bit bigger um, are there are tiny, tiny little details in here. I don't know if I can zoom in on any of these or not. Um, but this right here, this is so small. Um, you're not going to be able to color in here unless your color pencil is extremely sharp. Um, it's just not going to work. Um, hopefully you've got a good pencil sharpener. Um, lots of small details throughout the pages. Uh, small enough that, again, you're going to have to keep that pencil very sharp. If the pages were a bit bigger, that wouldn't be such a big issue. This book features a cat and a bicycle on each page. The cats are sometimes hidden. The bicycles are sometimes hidden. I really like this book. Um, this is the one that I did. Um, some trouble in here coloring this particular bike. Um, uh, there we go. Um, but there's the cat. That little tiny bike, it's just, um, very difficult to color. Um, this was done with, uh, watercolor. These were all watercolor. Um, the rest of it was with Prismacolor color pencils. Again, cat and bicycle on each page. Like I mentioned, sometimes they're hidden. There's the bicycle right there. Um, I'm not going to show you all the pages where the cats are because it's like the most fun to find. <laughs> the book is kind of like the bicycle is journeying through the world, outer space, different places, under the sea. Again, with these little tiny areas, it's just very difficult to color. And I'm going to zoom in on just the one page, if I can here, so you can see it a little bit better, since it's all one-sided. You can hear the pages, how thick they are.
this particular page is a two-page spread. It's the only one in the book. And the middle flips out. I'm not going to show you what's inside because um, it's cool. You just need to buy the book. Go zoom back in here on this one page. This is one of the biggest coloring books I have in my collection. The themes in this book are amazing. The artist has done a fantastic job creating different worlds for the bicycle and the cat to be in. And part of the fun of this book is finding the cat and bike in each page. Um, as you can tell, there was a um, tandem bike earlier. There's a unicycle here. The bikes are all different. I know there's a uh, three-wheeled bike somewhere in the book. It's dinosaurs. I mean, it just goes through any and all UFOs. Different kinds of lands and worlds that you could possibly imagine. They don't give you a test page in here that you can test colors on or anything, so I just use the back page to test some colors. I'm definitely fine with that. The other thing of this book, there's a secret hidden flip book in this as well. I don't know if it's going to show on camera or not. Um, I'm kind of doing it choppy, but um, when you flip it back this way, there is a flip book on this side of the page and with the cat. There's actually two. One before the fold, right there, and one after the fold. Um, and it's the cat. It's a flip book about the cat. And it's very cute. Adorable, even. Um, I just really like this book. Um, again, it's called The Bicycle Coloring Book, Journey to the Edge of the World. And here is the author. Um, illustrator right here. Um, I would recommend this coloring book to anybody who has um, a coloring book collection. This is just an amazing book. The binding is fantastic. Um, it goes all the way around from here, from here, all the way around till here. And you can tell, it's just a nice book. Um, the fold, it does take a bit of pressure to get that fold down, but there is an edge along the side here, which helps a lot. Um, with trying to color on the edge of a picture. So, thank you for watching.